Now, if we want to revise gram positive rods very quickly, first of all, gram positive rods obviously they are gram positive, so they are violet in color. We have our this basic configuration. We have a cell membrane and a very thick peptidoglycan helium. So the gram positive rods, two big groups. We have bacillus and we have clostridia. And then we have Corine bacterium diphtheria. Now these two have a one very basic characteristic. Bacillus are aerobes and clostridia they are anaerobes. Now the clostridia, what are the common clostridia? We have clostridium tetani, botulinum, clostridium perfringens, and clostridium difficile. All three are anaerobic. We should know which diseases are caused by them and the most important all have exotoxins and you all should know the mechanism of actions of their exotoxins and again they are anaerobes they are gram positive rods they are anaerobes and they have spores these are their basic characteristics now the bacillus they are gram positive rods they are aerobes and they also have spores. Now, what are these common bacillus? One group causing anthrax, the other one is bacillus serious, which just called food poisoning. And this food poisoning is caused by reheated fried rice. Now the anthrax is of three types. We have pulmonary anthrax, which is also called wool sorters disease. Then we have cutaneous, in which the most important character is an scar, which is a black colored scab. And then we have anthrax of GID. Here also anthrax as an exotoxin, Bacillus serious has its own exotoxin. So here we need to memorize the mechanism of actions of five exotoxins. Four exotoxins are here, two exotoxins are here and for exam you have to memorize their mechanism of actions.